Tim Tebow is in the Arizona Fall League. He might better be suited to be playing in an Arizona high school league. His presence here is a farce and he looks like an imposter pretending to have talents he does not possess. Chasing celebrities is no way to run a player development department, an organization, or a league. Everyone involved in the decision should be embarrassed when they're done counting their money. Skip, is this criticism fair or foul? I'm not gonna go all the way to foul, but I will say it's unfair. I know Keith Law from my days at ESPN, seems like a nice guy, big fan of all my brother's restaurants, which I appreciate. Degrees from Harvard, Carnegie Mellon, so he's a very smart guy. Mm -hmm. Also known for his occasionally scathing criticism of prospects. And right now, just in a vacuum, it's very easy to conclude Tim Tebow is an imposter and a farce. I have said repeatedly on this show, said it to Joy the day we were at Tebow's, what do they call it, showcase, showcase. here in Los Angeles at USC. It's a long shot for Tim Tebow to make it to the big leagues, but I do give him a shot, and this is the key, over the next couple of years. We all know, as you have pointed out many times, Tim Tebow has not played baseball since his junior year of high school. So after one brief and very successful stint in the instructional league, the Mets and Tebow chose to fast track him, fast forward him all the way. He skipped a lot of steps all the way to the Arizona Fall League, and he gets thrown in with a lot of high pick, top prospects, one small step from the big leagues. And again, Tim Tebow could have chosen to go out of the spotlight, play a little casual winter ball here and there, maybe out of the way winter ball, stay out of the media spotlight. But no, at age 29, having not played baseball since his junior year of high school, Tim Tebow chose to throw himself into the fire against top prospects with the media massing in Arizona and the world hanging on his every videotaped swing. And you want to talk about high degree of difficulty? That's about as high as you could ask. <clears throat> so to me, what would be fair for Keith Law and others, including yourself, would be able to, be to wait until Tim Tebow plays an entire minor league summer. Let's wait until August or maybe September 1st, where you get to watch Tim Tebow for, let's say, 150 minor league games. I don't know if it's going to be high, high A ball, maybe double A. Not sure where he's going to start, but let's let him finish one full year of baseball. As Joy well knows, it's a game that takes time to, to evolve and to, to, to sort of figure out who can play and who can't play. It will be revealed in time, but he deserves some more time before you dismiss him as a fraud and an imposter. I do not have email. And I hear them talk on television all the time about cyber crimes and the hacking. But if I did not know better, Keith Law hacked my phone. <laughs> he looked at my notes. Because everything that I said before, this man cooperated. Now, I don't have a degree from Harvard. I don't have a degree from Carnegie Mellon. I graduated from Savannah State University, the Tigers. Didn't graduate cum laude, magna cum laude. I graduated thank you laude. I majored in eligibility. But Keith Law, somebody that has devoted his life mm. Tim Tebow in this Arizona Wait, fall. I got a quick point of order. I thought you've always told me that guys who played the game have a better view of who can play I the game. I never said that, Skip. No? Yeah, I never said that, Skip. That oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Keith Law stole my... Tim Tebow, 0 for 12. Five strikeouts. Seven balls put in play. None have left the infield. So, in all the games that he's played in, struck out five times. Ball haven't left the infield. One would think, I'm going to take extra batting practice. I'm going to get in the cage and hit a few more balls. What did he do on the weekend, Joy Taylor? He went back to his regular job, working at a network, analyzing college football. See, this is the problem that everybody have with this guy, is that he always got moved to the front of the line. Not only did he get moved to the front of the line, they gave him $100,000. So Skip Bayless, 
You tell me every day on this show you cover football almost as long as I've been alive, and you have. Tell me the time that a guy has been away from a sport for over a decade and got a $100,000 signing bonus. Just take your time. Just tell me the time no, that skip, a guy skip. would be... Answer, no, no. You always no, tell I, me, I'm answer gonna, my question. I'm going to answer with a answer. question. No, no. You never answer any I of my questions. I always answer your questions. I asked you yesterday, tell me the Cowboys record the rest of the year. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to change the subject. So here's the question. Tell me the time that a guy hasn't played a sport since junior high school and would subject himself to the ruthless, vicious criticism that we just you just read there yep. by fast-forwarding, fast-tracking all the way to the Arizona Fall League. Who would put themselves under that kind of pressure? They Who fa- would? He, he didn't fast-track did himself. He did it. They did this. Well, he had to say he's yes profe- to it. He's a professional oh, celebrity. Please. That's what he's doing. Oh. You and can, can you imagine? First of all, first of all he has as many hits in this league as I have. I haven't picked up a baseball bat in 35 years. And would you do this? Would you go there now and play in the Arizona Fall League against top prospects? No, you'd say, I I'd a, be crazy to do that. I was a football player. Okay. I stick so to was I'm, he. No, he wasn't. So why is he playing baseball? Thank you. I'm glad you said that. I was you walking that trap. So why is he playing baseball? Yeah, now? I walked right into that trap. Why is he playing baseball? Because he took a one and four team on on an incredible run all the way to a no, division. No, no, we're not. Let doing me finish. Ever. No, no, we're not doing 2011. Yep. With, this right. has nothing are, to do with this okay, argument. All right. What does you, football you, have to do with this baseball let me argument? Finish? Yes. As long as you don't talk football, you can finish. Because he took a one and four. No, team. Skip, that was okay, football. Right, then I'm out. I'm out. Baseball. You're not let me talk, talk baseball. Okay, no, I'm no, out. we're I'm not out. talking football. Okay, I'm done. Tim I'm done. Tebow. We're talking Tim Tebow. He's in a mess. So you're trying to bring up what he did in football. That has nothing to do with the mess. You just said he wasn't a football player, and I was going to tell you why he was a football player. Skip, Skip, like you, like you tell me, <sighs> let's stick to the topic. The topic is you Tim stick Tebow. To, you never okay. stick to the topic. Okay, let's go. Tim Tebow, the baseball player. The floor is yours. I'm done. I told you I'm out. Well, I, well, I'm not out. Keith Law, I'm glad someone else, other because see what happens is, Joy, when you talk about Tim Tebow and you're an athlete, all his supporters come at you and say you're jealous. Now you got somebody that his soul. How do you know that? I thought you said you were out. Yeah, that's that's re- you're reading your Twitter like five people. <sighs> Skip, you got three million people. Okay, oh. you're popular. I'm good with that. But the fact of the matter is, everybody doesn't believe what you believe in Tim Tebow. He believes he's a farce, a charlatan of a baseball player. Hey, good. A lot of people have said that. Now, you can stand back there and pat him on the back and support him. I'm and not patting him, him on the back. The fact of the matter is, he got opportunities. No other players in baseball history have been afforded. Yeah, they would. If they, if they chose to, if they'd been a really good, if they'd been a pro football player at the highest level, if they had taken a team to a title, if they had won a playoff game and then the league turned its back on that player, sure, baseball would say, yeah, we'll give you a shot. No, they won't. Skip, stop it. Skip, you know that's not true. I do know it's true. You know that's not true. Who who would subject themselves to that kind of uh, scrutiny? A guy that wants to be a professional celebrity? Because he was out of the line. Nobody had mentioned Tim Tebow's name in the past year. Now, all of a sudden, he pops up on the screen, and he's in everybody's uh, vernacular every day for two months. He cannot stand not being in the media limelight. He cannot stand being in attention. He's a very good college football analyst. He's very good at that. Be that. It's okay. It is okay. Your dream was to play professional football. Mm -hmm. You had a three-year dream. Shannon Sharp had a 14-year dream. Peyton Manning had an 18-year dream. Just because, just because the dream did not last as long as you anticipated doesn't mean you weren't successful. You were successful. But now it's time to move on to your second phase of your life, and baseball isn't it. Mm-hmm. If any successful NFL quarterback at age 29 said, I want to try baseball, any, anybody would say, come on, we'll, we'll give you a shot. I, saw, I remember Too Tall Jones tried another sport. That wasn't his. Yeah, and you know what? And what happened? I, I went all the way to Las Cruces, New Mexico to cover it because it was a big deal. And, I was there at ringside. And what happened? Against Jesus Manessis. And what happened? Yeah, 
he lost. Exactly. But he tried. You know what? Exactly. I gave him high marks for having uh, no, the guts I don't, I don't, to try. No, I don't want no. I don't yeah. want no high marks right. for trying. Yeah. This ain't no trying. This is not a kid trying to take baby steps. He's like, oh, good job, baby. Good. That's not what this is. This is a grown man that cannot accept the fact that his career ended not how he wanted it. He skip. Everybody's career but doesn't end on their terms. The NFL slammed the door on him no, for reasons I still ability, can't comprehend. His ability, his ability no. to throw the football mm. slammed the door no. on him. He no. never got any better. You know why? Because it was always more important to do something else. The difference between excellence and mediocrity, Skip, is what? Commitment. You tell me he's committed when he's over in this league and then he jets off, goes back to do his, part, his real job? Come on, Skip, stop playing. You can yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop playing when he starts playing minor league baseball in the it, 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 when it start when the season starts he'll, in the spring and you know what and he will be there for 150 straight games and he'll be in the battery league A or double A that's maybe the best he can it's do where you start it's where everybody starts no he got he, he got he, an he's in line he got in line he got at the end of the tell line tell me the 29 year old that got an opportunity in another sport that wasn't his primary sport you still refuse to tell me that who who would try it nobody doesn't would have matter the guts who would to try. try oh so now tim Tebow, the only guy that got guts yeah he's got guts get out get out of here yeah. with that foolishness I'm talking about tim Tebow. don't see that's not what i'm talking about skip See, that's what people, when pe when you say Tim Tebow is the only guy that got guts, and you say that with a straight face, and people take you seriously when you say that, you know that's Cause, not cause true. Because I am serious, and he does have guts. Everybody got, okay, in the literal sense, yeah, yeah, everybody got guts if you're alive. But you make it seem like that he's built up something that nobody else is. If he was, he could No, you, you said he got ushered to the front of the he line. He did. Guess what? When you get to the front of the line, the world is watching. And I'm watching him go over. Okay, you got it. So far, so good for you. He's just starting. Baby steps back in the sport of baseball. 29-year-old taking baby yeah. steps. Yep. 29-year-old taking he's baby steps. take a whole bunch of baby Whatever. steps all summer long.